Hello and welcome. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Now, before I jump to Excel, I want to zoom out and talk about our objective here. We have imported some data. Where did we get it? It doesn't matter. Maybe we got it from a website that we copy and pasted. Maybe we got it from a text file, a CSV file. We copied it from a PDF file. And we expected it to come into Excel in multiple columns. But for whatever reason, when we open it up in Excel, this has all been combined into a single column. Our goal is to take the single column and split it into multiple columns. Now, in this short video, we're gonna look at three different alternatives for doing this. The third one uses Power Query, which is my favorite, so you definitely wanna stick around and check that out. All right, let's flip to Excel. So the first option is a tool that's been around for decades. It's called Text to Columns, and regardless of your version of Excel, you should have this. To use Text to Columns, you first select your data, then head to the Data Ribbon tab and select Text to Columns. In the resulting dialog, we can tell Excel if the data is delimited. That just means there's some type of character that tells Excel where the columns are, or if it's fixed width with no delimiter. In this case, we do have a delimiter. It's the comma, so I select delimited and I click next. In the second step of the wizard, we tell Excel what is that delimiting character? What's the delimiter? Is it a tab? Is it a semicolon? In this case, it's a comma, but we could also select space or other. Once we've done that, we click next. Now in step three, this is where we're able to go into details and identify each individual column. We can specify the data format. We can tell Excel not to import a column. For example, if we didn't need this column, we could just say do not import it. If we didn't need this column, we could say do not import it. So we have some details here to check out. Depending on what you're working on, this might come in handy. In our case, we want all of the columns. So I'm going to set them back to general. Now I can click finish. And just like that, <laughs> Excel has placed all of these values each into their own column. So that's splitting columns with text to columns. That's a great option if this is a one-time project and we just wanna do it manually and quickly and get it done. Now let's take a look at the second option. This is with a formula. Now in this case, we're gonna write a formula that uses the text split function. Depending on your version of Excel, you may or may not have the text split function. Um, as it's not available in every version of Excel. Basically, the first argument is the text that we want to split. So in this case, I'm going to select cell A1. And the next argument is the column delimiter. So what is the character? In this case, it's a comma, and I'm going to enclose it in quotes. There are some additional arguments, so depending on what you're working on, you may want to check these out. We can also split this into rows. We can tell it to ignore empty. We can, define, we can define the match mode, and we can also pad with a character. In this case, though, I'm just going to use the first two arguments and hit enter. Okay, that looks good. And all I need to do is fill this formula down and got it. So this would be a good choice if we're doing this somewhat frequently, and we always want to paste the data into column A and have this formula split that text into multiple columns. All right, let's take a look at the third option. This is gonna use Power Query. Now, depending on your version of Excel, you may or may not have Power Query. But if you do, this can be a great option if this is a recurring kind of a project, especially when the data is in an external place. So the first step to using Power Query is to head to the Data Ribbon tab. And in this case, we're gonna select From Table Range. Since our data is not in a table, Excel prompts us and invites us to create a table. We're gonna go ahead and say, okay. And that data is opened in Power Query. All right. At this point, we're going to go ahead and use the split column. And depending on what you're working on, there's lots of options. Um, we're going to get an error, so I'm going to come back and show, show that to you. But for now, let's just go ahead and keep moving forward. We're going to split column by delimiter. And Power Query auto-detected that it's a comma. If it's some other delimiter, you can pick it or do custom. And then we can split at each occurrence of the delimiter. And there's some advanced options, so depending on what you're working on, you want to check that out. And we click OK. Now, the basic error here is that it used this column label and it repeated that column label over and over again. In other words, it didn't split the text in that column label. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo these steps by using the red X. And then I need to get this column label out of the header and down into the data. And the way that we do that is we use the use headers as first row command. That's gonna push the column label down into the data so that it will be split. Then we go to split column by delimiter. We select comma and click OK. Now the column labels are split and now we want to push this first row and use it as the header. To do that, I'm going to use first row as headers. That looks a lot better. And now I can close and load two and I want to send it to a table in a new worksheet and I click OK. 
Power Query splits the data and returns the resulting table. Now this would be a great approach if you're doing this on a recurring basis, because going forward, all we need to do now is click refresh. And this would work whether or not the data source was inside Excel already, or we can also point it to a CSV file or other external file. So that makes it really handy to import data into Excel from an external data source and clean it up on its way in by splitting the columns as desired. By the way, if you use Excel and you'd like to save time, be sure to check out the seven time hacks video. It's a collection of seven time-saving techniques that every Excel user should know. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Hope this helps. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 